Kiwi is the kind of game that can be described by first starting with a comparison to Overcooked. It's cooperative, task focused, casual and deals ever so slightly in chaos. But if there are only two things that you need to know about this game, it's that one, you play as the softest looking Kiwis and two, the Kiwis can wear hats. Kiwi is an upcoming postal puzzler by Stoneweed and Sons, where you and the person you hopefully won't yell at too much play as Jeff and Deborah, two Kiwi birds that work at a comically oversized post office in Bungalow Basin, a rustic human and animal community with a multi species postal workforce. The office is entertainingly ill-equipped for the Kiwis, but they make it work anyway, just like the hats and accessories you put them in. The wardrobe should be your first stop when you're getting started, unless you want to bop along to the menu music first, but let's face it, we all know why we're here. The demo already had some stamps in the wallet and ready to spend, and I'm hoping that sticks around, because getting decked out before heading to work had me laughing even with the limited options. There are two mini games available in the demo, sending telegrams or mailing letters and the option to take part in an active tutorial, which I recommend, before being let loose. The games are a blend of memory, timing and coordination, and both of them balance individual action and teamwork well, as you scramble, bounce and peck your way around the levels to complete the set tasks within the time limit. The controls are simple enough that they can be displayed in the loading screen with small prompts in game to just keep you going. And if you're familiar with this type of game, you'll pick things up quickly. Although I didn't realize I hadn't used the dash action at all in my first playthrough as I was still coming to grips with everything that was happening around me. There's definitely a need for communication as you and your partner split up to complete the assigned tasks as fast as possible. But some things like typing a capital letter or rejecting one of the finished letters from the toaster can only be done together, which I think is a really clever way of keeping and teamwork and planning an essential part of the game. I think my favourite in-game moment was when we had to have one Kiwi distract the world's most dangerous bird slash dinosaur with food while the other Kiwi loaded its bag with letters. It also turns out my husband and I don't have perfect psychic timing with each other because we had to keep stopping to count down and sync our button presses. The two mini games are a great introduction on what to expect and I was excited to hear from the devs that the full game will explore more of the post office including packaging, shipping crates and juggling incoming and outgoing mail at the front desk. Jeff and Deborah's jobs will become more complex with new mechanics and twists to keep them on their toes. When the mail has gone out and your shift is done, Jeff and Deborah get a performance review and receive their stamps, which of course means you can head back to the wardrobe to buy more hats. This was plenty of incentive for me to return to try for a higher rank by completing the jobs faster, which would earn me more spending money and it celebrates new personal bests along the way, which keeps me feeling good. Kiwi is unfortunately the kind of game I have trouble convincing my husband to play with me, but if this is in your wheelhouse, I recommend checking it out. It has recently been showcased in the Wholesome Games Wholesome Direct and took part in the Steam Summer Festival. It's due for release on PC in 2021. There are links in the description below if you'd like to follow along with development and if you had the opportunity to play the demo, I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. I also put up Let's Plays every Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Bye!